Hey, welcome to my channel. It's Cynthia Maynard. I'm so glad you joined me today. I hope you're doing well, staying happy and healthy and crafting in art, arting, <laughs> arting away. Today I am going to be doing this fun little journal corner and <clears throat> I had seen a uh, and video a video by Hanny Tromp, I believe her name is, and she was doing some junk journal corners and they were so easy. It was one of those things I just trotted right down and did them. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you can also check out her channel, but uh, if you want to stick with me for just a little bit and then go on and over there, I'll show you how to quickly make one of these. Now this is out of my own digital paper in the shop, my Etsy shop, and um, I cut out this bird from a late, uh, the latest card making magic, and I put some fun fur behind that, or eyelash trim, whatever, whatever it is you call that. And as you can see, I've got a journal blank here uh, that I haven't done yet, but um, it just fits right over the corner like that. Now you can also use it as a bookmark, like if you're reading a book, obviously, and um, if you want to put your um, bookmark in like that. Craft for kids to do, it's a great craft for us to do, and it's a great little addition to some happy mail and whatnot. So let's go ahead and make one. So all you need is a nice piece of paper. It can be different sizes and depending on how big your, your paper obviously you start with is how big your corner will be. Um, I have some extra paper. This is my design here with my artwork. I'm making this chipboard uh, little baby journal here and it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> and um, I can give you a sneak peek here. This will be a video coming soon. Um, but I loved how it turned out. So I had an extra piece of paper here and I thought that would be a perfect thing to do it with. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Maybe I'll do this corner. You can usually get a couple out of a piece this big and this is Oh, four inches by eight and a half. All right, so all you do is, obviously this is our good side, so you just kind of want to see where your center is first off. So you just want a little, don't commit to it, but fold it in half and just kind of pinch. Boop. And now I have a little marker where my middle is. And then all you're going to do, let me zoom in here, all you're going to do is bring I do it better upside down. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm going to bring that together like this so it's nice and straight. And then just use your bone folder to go ahead and put that down. So that's step one. Or one, one and two. <laughs> um, that's all we have so far. Now the next thing you're going to do, this is so easy, you'll be like, why haven't I been making these? And they're kind of thing, it's a great thing to make a bunch of at once and a great way to use up your scraps. You just want to put glue all over that area. And then very carefully, we are going to take this and we are going to just, oh, I got some fun fur in there for my journal. We're going to take that and go like that. And press that down so it's nice and glued really well there. Hope you're all safe and healthy there uh, this quarantine time. Pray for me. <laughs> we still don't have our second car. And the stores have shortened their hours and the grocery delivery is pretty much null and void so it's kind of difficult when my husband gets off work after working a 12-hour shift he teaches uh, the nurses who are teaching um, he's teaching the nurses how to take care of the COVID uh, patients so he's he's really uh, right in there <laughs> so um so by the time he gets home it's eight o'clock and the stores are closing at that time so it's kind of been a little bit difficult to get fresh produce <laughs> um, so we need our car back so <laughs> from the shops. Pray, pray. Okay. All right. That's all there is to it. And then what you're going to do is cut along this line here. And as I cut, I'm going to kind of, instead of cutting straight like this, I'm going to kind of tilt my scissors like that and kind of try to get under there without cutting through that edge of that triangle that we just glued down. We don't want to undo, <laughs> undo our work. And then like that. So you see what I mean, I can get a whole nother one, whoa, whole nother one off of this. So that's nice, you can make several of these and they're very inexpensive. 
So you can pick which side you like, or it's the side, they're the same. <laughs> but, um, sorry, I'm like a little too close now, I think. Woo! Um, if I had difference of sides, I would pick one. Uh, next step is to make our opening. So right now this is folded. So you're going to take the tiniest wee bit off. And that's going to be our little opening. way that fits better like that. Um, and then the fun part begins. You get to decorate this. So you can do any number of things. Look how easy that was. So it's just a matter of decorating. Now I had, this is what I used. Um, it's a card making magic set. I think I used one of these flying birds here. And it just fits perfectly on there. I got a scrap of paper that was lying beside my die cutting machine. And it just caught there. And I'm gonna go ahead and see which side I like better. I think that will be easier to see. Now because it's kind of pink on pink, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. Okay. And then I just clean these off on um, a paper towel are at a premium right now so you can see I'm re <laughs> reusing them <laughs> like a mad woman um, and then it's fine for the next ink whatever color in my opinion you don't need one for every color but all right so now you've got the side that you like there and I'm gonna put some eyelash trim behind there I've got a big ball you can get this at Joanne I think they're doing pickup on curbside pickup right now um, you just need a piece that lasts forever once you buy one of those. I've got them in a few different colors because I, I just love the texture that it gives. I want my tape runner there and I'm just going to coil this up. Just kind of hold it in position. Fabric tack because whenever I use fabric or ribbon or some sort of textile I like to um, adhere it with fabric tack because I feel like it's a nice strong Or you could use your glue gun. This is like the glue gun without being plugged in to me. <laughs> That's the, how strong it is. Little Nuvo drops. I always do a squirt outside of the, uh, <laughs> this is a glimmer drop. Pink champagne. <laughs> and then you can kind of highlight the bird. Maybe his eye. And without squeezing, I'm just using the tip. I guess this is the time to come in again. Squeezing, I'm using the tip to kind of spread that. Kids are going to love this. You can just really go to town. You know, you can paint with your Nuvo Drops, right? All sorts of things you can do with these guys. So just kind of highlighting around the edge, squeezing as I need to. Even use your finger and get a little more coverage like that. If you want just a really light and that's all there is to it. Super pretty. I hope that's going to pick up. I don't know if it will. Those are my little book corners. <laughs> and who knows, you might see that on a journal. But yeah, so fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, check back in. Hit that like and subscribe button so that you're notified of new videos all the time. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have